like the officer brought up. It's, uh, it's, there's good, bad, and the ugly in everything you do. Absolutely. You know, and I, but the thing is, and this is how I got this, I'm a magnet for military and police. Yeah, of course. This is my work. Yeah. So, but, I mean, I can't even imagine it. I mean, nobody goes into police work or becoming a nurse or anything, you know, in emergency. Or healthcare. Yeah, or a right right or becomes an EMT yeah. or anything. Uh -huh. For the money. Thanks. Absolutely, I, I mean, take all the time. There, it's a calling. Yes, it is. You want to, you want to help people. Yeah. Now, when you get into the police and the military, you do have to do screening for psychopaths and sociopaths don't want to have that power. Yeah. But you, yeah. that's, you weed them out. Used to be in America, the cops, from my perspective, being a New York cop, you get a Democratic mayor, Democratic mayor would throw money at you. They didn't want you to do anything. They didn't want you to do your job. Right. They would throw money at you. The public would come in. They didn't want you to do your job, but they didn't want to pay you. So it kind of like... What? And you went along. As long as they were both, you did just fine. Now, the Republicans don't want to pay you. The Democrats don't want to pay you. And nobody wants you to do nothing. Nah. How do you feel about were you, that? Uh, were you in the force at 9-11 doing 9-11? I was retired in Florida and a police officer in Florida. I went back on the club. How do you feel thing? about that attack? Do you think we can lie to I think, honestly, the people who they say did it, more or less did it. Whether you want to call them Al Qaeda, whether you want to call them ISIS, whatever you want to call those people. I believe they did it. I don't believe, I'm not a believer that our own government did it or anything like that. Um, I know the training that I went through prior to 9-11, and I know what they said about the buildings. They said an airplane couldn't break it down. The map they used involved the 707, not uh, the 777. If I may, yeah. no plane hit building number seven. No pieces did, no. No, it doesn't make any difference. The point being, never before in history has a steel frame building ever collapsed due to fire. And even ones that were hit by planes, BI, Empire State Building in July 47. Uh, but in one day, three buildings, three skyscrapers fall in free fall. Now, we're not talking about chunks, right. but uh, fall in free fall. Figure this, take this into consideration. Still, the hits were always at a very high altitude in the right. buildings. The wind is much stronger than that. So? Wind means oxygen. So? Fuel load means heat. When a steel girder hits between 800 and 900 degrees, it fails. Doesn't make any difference. Here's why. Every reaction is met with an equal and opposite reaction. So when you're talking about this portion of the building as opposed to this, this portion, as it falls, will also be damaged, thereby reducing its impact. As it hits further and further, stronger resistance. So this thing would have stopped about here. It wouldn't have crushed the entire thing. It would have fallen off to the side. This fell in free fall, in free fall, straight down. Now there are 2,600 architects and engineers at a and &E for 9-11 Truth that have studied this. I'm familiar with it, I, and I've looked at it, and I've considered it, and honestly, based on my experience and my knowledge of the city and what happened that day, I just believe, unfortunately, it happened. Yeah, but believe. It's, I mean, I can believe in blue uniforms. Right. That doesn't make it happen. Physics does not lie. In order to melt, because they found three pools of molten metal under these buildings. Right. 
So there's no way in the world that burned for two and a half months. Where did that come from? You do not get molten metal from open fires. I don't care. If you're saying all the steel did was bend, then where the molten metal come didn't from? Just, didn't just bend. But where did all these three pools, especially under building number seven? I mean, you're a police officer. You look at the evidence. So the evidence would dictate that a, a pool of molten metal was under building number seven, that this building fell in free fall into its own footprint in six seconds, that it was indeed arguably one of the most fortified buildings in the world that housed all 16 of our intelligence agencies and the mayor's emergency bunker. You could shoot a howitzer into the glass and you'd watch where you're not cracking. So here's a strong fortified building. Modern, the last one built in the bank, falls in free fall in six seconds, and you're telling me fire did that? Please use some common sense. Here, let me show it to you. Here, just watch this thing fall, and then tell me what you what you see. Tell me what you see here. Tell me what you see here. Tell me that this, in your own eyes, in your own heart, you have to look at this, and then tell me if, it, if, if this isn't, all right, here it comes. Now this is it. It's all the fire it had in it. That's it, all right? That's it. Now watch this thing collapse. In the World Trade Center. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September. Had moved back from that building before what you're about to see again here on videotape, knowing that fire could not be fought because what of the fire? instability of the structure. What because instability? Because of the fire that had burned since shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. Dana Tyler is joining us. If anybody out there can help, any vendors who have food or supplies, the firemen have no food.